Hi everyone, welcome to my channel which is all about crocheting and knitting. In this video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this kidney bag. I use zipper for fastening and uh, you can use what you want for decoration. I use this franks and I think it looks nicer with it. You can make them easily. And the bag is from two parts plus this strip so let's crochet for this project you will need one ball of this t-shirt yarn you can pick biscuit uh, biscuit as me it's 100% cotton or you can use bobelon if you want or any other any other t-shirt yarn it's up to you uh, you need scissors yarn needle stitch markers measuring tape uh, seven millimeters crochet hook five millimeters crochet hook and you need two carabiners and two metal half rings and zipper you can use textile adhesive for joining the zipper to the back or you can sew the zipper to the back with sewing thread. First I'm going to make a big flat circle so I'll start with magic ring then chain one and the chain you have to count the chain as single crochet because we are going to make single crochets into the magic ring. So chain one and then make six single crochets into the magic ring. Don't tighten at all because it's pattern where you where you have to tighten less than normally. And I'm using seven millimeters crochet hook. If you will tighten much, uh, you can use eight millimeters crochet hook. And it's better when you when you will pick a hundred percent cotton t-shirt yarn because it's uh, not too heavy it's not too heavy as a mix of cotton and some polyacryl or something what is not natural <laughs> so 100% cotton for this project is the best okay tighten the magic ring and now you can count from the right side and we need this sixth stitch inside your hook from this side and pull this loop through. We are going to join the round with different slip stitch. It's invisible. And now make just this and tighten it. This is by the way how to join the round because it's really invisible this way but oh, we did it just in this round. In next rounds we will join the round with different way and it's invisible as well. Okay, now I'm going, I'm going to show you where you have to insert your hook. We will not use stitches, but when you look at the stitch, so down here is the middle of single crochet from previous round and you need to get your uh, hook into the middle of the single crochet from previous round. Okay, in next round we have to increase every stitch. I say stitch, but I mean always the middle of single crochet from previous round. So I will say stitches, stitch, but I mean always the single crochet from previous round. And you have to make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Start in this stitch and make chain one. 
it will be a little harder to make them make uh, make it make single crochets in this round but then it will be easier you you have to tighten really less than normally so don't tighten don't tighten at all so chain one and now make one single crochet in the same space then make two single crochet in next stage in next stage and make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around so continue working two single crochets in each in each stitch all the way around and uh, you can pause the video then meet me back again at the end of this round and I will show you how to join the round with an invisible way. Okay, at the end of each round you will make different uh, different slip stitch you have to make. Um, you have to make one single crochet in this stitch, but don't finish it. Now you have to insert your hook into this back loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through and now pull it through two loops. This is how I Finish the round invisibly. And now you can continue working uh, in next round. So this is a uh, this is first uh, single crochet, but we need uh, two single crochets. So make one more single crochet in the same space. So we have increased and now make just one single crochet in next stitch. In next stitch increase again. So make two single crochets in next stitch. In this round you have to increase every second stitch so you have to make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around. Okay I am at the end of the round you can use stitch marker because you need to know where is the beginning of each round so if you are absolute beginner use stitch marker uh, it will it will be better for you and now you will join the round with exactly the same way like before so insert your hook into the next middle of single crochet don't finish the single crochet Then insert your hook into the next, just back loop, grab the yarn, pull it through this loop and pull it through both, uh, both loops. And we finish the round. Okay, now in next round you have to increase every third stitch. So make one single crochet in the same stitch. We have increased the first stitch, then make one single crochet in next two stitches. So in this round you have to make two single crochets in every third stitch all the way around. And you have to continue in this system until you have enough size of the flat circle. So you will increase 
every fourth stitch in the next round, then every fifth, then every sixth stitch, then every seventh stitch, and then every eighth stitch. So you'll get eight rows or eight rounds plus the magic ring. So you will have nine rounds together. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, finish invisibly again. So you can cut the yarn and we have done the flat circle. So pull the pull the yarn through and now just use some crochet hook and pull the yarn through this first uh, stitch like this and then insert your hook uh, from below the last stitch in the middle of this last stitch like this and pull the yarn through that's all then pull the pull the end of yarn uh, through this stitch and then you can sew it and hide it into the circle and we have done the first part of kidney bag. And the average of circle is 22 centimeters. Okay, now let's make the second part of kidney bag. Take the same size of crochet hook, start with slip knot and then chain 21. Okay, this is right side, this is wrong side, and your chain should have similar or the same length as, uh, as the average of circle. So now start with chain 2 and make first single crochet. Then make one single crochet in each chain across. I'm at the end of the row, now chain 1, turn your work and I'm going to show you where you have to insert your hook. So you can see the chain here and we are not going to use stitches like this, we are not going to use back loop or front loop. We need to use just this loop. So you will insert your hook into these loops and you have to make one single crochet in this loop. So start in very first, uh, very first loop and make first single crochet. So this is first loop where you have to make first uh, single crochet. It's a little harder to insert your hook into this loop, but it's fine. You have to be just patient, work slowly and use your fingers. And if you will have problem, uh, you can make single crochets 
uh, into the stitch but you should use small size of hook okay continue working one single crochet in uh, each loop across I'm at the end of the row and now I just want to show you this is last loop where you have to make uh, single crochet and very last single crochet has to go to the stitch so here make last single crochet last single crochet in this row then chain one and turn your work And you will just repeat exactly the same pattern as in previous row. So make one single crochet in each this loop across and make 12 rows together. So you need to get 12 rows together. Always make one single crochet at the end of each row and start always in very first um, loop <laughs> and last or last uh, loop is this one and last single crochet will go into this stitch so continue working pause the video and then meet me back again Okay, this is how it looks like. Now just cut the yarn, but uh, keep the tail longer because you need the tail for sewing. Pull the end of yarn through like this. And now you need, uh, you need to use yarn needle. Okay, this is right side and you need to have the wrong side like this. Wrong side um, has to be in inside the kidney bag. And now use yarn needle. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you just uh, I'm using invisible stitch and you need to sew the half ring uh, together with both sides like this. Just follow me and I think invisible stitch is the best if you know better way how to sew this these parts uh, together. You can pick your favorite stitch, it's up to you, but I'm using invisible stitch.
Okay, and on the bottom of kidney bag, so it's exactly the same like before. So use invisible stage and sew it like this. Work slowly because uh, you you want to have your kidney bag nice. So don't be in a hurry, use invisible stitch and sew it on the bottom of kidney bag and on the right side as well. Okay, now you need to sew and hide all ends of yarn into the kidney, kidney bag and now just uh, so the zipper over here or if you will use uh, if you will use textile adhesive it's up to you and then I will show you what next Okay, this is how it looks like. It, it looks pretty pretty nice, I think. Now I need to uh, show you how to make the strip with carabines. And I will saw the, the frames to the zipper. Just with needle and sewing thread. And now I'm going to show you how to make the strip. Okay, take five millimeters crochet hook. And new end of the same color of yarn, or you can you can have um, other color of yarn. It's up to you. And just insert your hook into the carbine, pull the yarn through, chain one, and then it's up to you if you will make three single crochets or four single crochets. It's up to you. Uh, what width you want and I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work and the chain uh, the chain on the beginning you can count as single crochet but it's easy work easy pattern okay I'm going to make a four single crochets but I will make uh, three single crochets for my kidney back I'm just showing you uh, on more single crochets okay chain one turn your work and start with first very first stage and make first single crochet then make one single crochet in each stitch across Chain one to your work and repeat it again. And that's all pattern for the strip. So start in very first stitch, make first single crochet and then make one single crochet in next three stitches. And continue working until you have enough length. Okay, now uh, the second carabine uh, will be different. Okay, so chain one, turn your work and just put your carabine to the strip and you have to make single crochets. Last, last row of single crochets with your carabine. So insert your hook into the stitch and into the carabine. Grab the yarn and pull it through and make single crochet.
Okay, then you can make a slip stitch, cut the yarn and and sew the tail inside the strip, and that's all. Your kidney bag is done. Okay, I hope you like my kidney bag. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, put a thumb up. I will be happy for it. And if you don't subscribe my channel yet, click the subscribe button and click the bell as well. And you will never miss any of my video. So thank you very much for watching. And I will look forward at the next video. Have a great day. And... See you soon. Bye-bye.